Christina from Blossom and Root. Today I thought I would talk to you a little bit about the planning strategy that I use for homeschool and for organizing the rest of my life at the same time that has really changed the way I structure our day and given me a lot of sanity back that I had lost trying to do the planner thing. I love planners a lot and because I love them so much, I can't stop buying them. I will buy a new planner every other month. I'm not kidding. And I would use them for just a couple of weeks, and then I was unsatisfied with the way they were working for me, or rather the way I was using them. So I would move on to the next one, thinking that just using a different planner would be more effective and efficient for me. And it kind of dawned on me early in the summer that this was just not working because my brain doesn't like to have things listed out by times of the day at all. Um, my day changes so much from one day to the next that that was inefficient and it wasn't giving me the flexibility I needed to get things done when I could. So I switched to doing list building at the beginning of the summer. And at first it was very simple. I would just, on a piece of notebook paper, write down a list of everything that had to get done that day. And this worked okay, but I had a tendency to write down every single thing that needed to get done that my brain could possibly think of. So I started getting more strategic about it. I would start by just doing a brain dump and I would write down everything I could think of in the whole wide world that I needed to get done. And then out of that list, I would highlight the tasks that were the most important. And I would write those on a separate list and I would just try to get that list done. And this was a step in the right direction. It started to work a little bit better for me. So I got fancy and I went online and I made this whole template and every day had a piece of paper and at the top of the piece of paper it would say brain dump and I would, the night before I would just brain dump everything that I could think of onto that little section and then it filtered it down into this next section that talked about what are the top priorities out of these three factors. Running our household, running my two businesses, and running homeschool. <laughs> So I was taking this huge list I made and finding the top priorities that needed to happen in each of those sections of my life. And I would pick things that were either pressing and had unpleasant consequences for not getting done, like paying the electric bill or, you know, um, getting an important project done in my garden company. And then for homeschool, what was the one thing I really wanted to get done that day with my daughters? What was the most important piece? Because we all know in homeschool, you have these fantastic plans of all the things you want to do every day. And some days they all happen, and a lot of days they don't. And I was getting really frustrated on the days that they didn't all happen. Um, but then I realized they don't all have to happen every day for it to still be a successful homeschool program. So what's the one thing that was the most important thing to get done? And I used to do that when I was teaching kindergarten. It was the same thing, you guys. Teachers go through the same struggle where we have a huge list of things to do and they're just not always going to get done. So it's, it's really important to decide what's the one thing that will help them the most to do today. And what's the one thing that will help further their education the most to do today? What's the foundational step that has to happen today in order for success to come tomorrow? So I don't know why I didn't think of using that approach here in this context sooner, but it took me a while to have that revelation. And so finally on this sheet that I had made, I took those priorities and I listed them into three for each section. What are the top three things that have to happen for the household to run smoothly? What are the top three things that have to happen for my businesses to move forward the most? And then in homeschool, which is what we're really talking about here, is what's the top three things, what are the top three things that I want my children to get done today out of the nine, ten things that I really want to do? What are the top three that will help them the most tomorrow? So that's what I started doing. And sometimes I only choose one priority. Like I'll just say, okay, as long as they get a read aloud today, we succeeded. Or as long as we had a nature walk today, we succeeded. My kids are really young. They're two and four. So our schedule's a little looser anyway. But um, even with older children, this is a really important concept. You can say, as long as we did our math lesson and our reading and writing, it was a successful day. It's okay that we didn't get to history every day this week. It's okay that we didn't get to art every day this week or music or 
all the millions of different wonderful things that we like to pursue, those are all important. But some days you have to decide what deserves your best energy. And that is enough. That's enough. So give yourself a break. Don't feel like you have to be super mom every single day. Try this system. Whether you love planners or you love lists, just try it. Try, try giving yourself the brain down because I think our, our brains as women kind of need that opportunity to get everything down on paper because we have so many things that we're in charge of and take care of and they all seem important, you know, but when you write them all down and then you really take a good look at your list and you say, all right, out of these, what do I really need to do today? What really, really needs to get done today? And what can wait? And it'll get done eventually, and sometimes it won't get done at all. There are things on my list that have been there for seven months, and the world didn't end. The world did not end. And I think that's important, especially for people who have really high expectations for themselves, to realize that not every action you put your energy into is equal. Some things deserve it more. <laughs> so back to list building. I made an even better template just for homeschool that I made for all five days of the week. Actually, we're four-day-a-weekers now, so all four days of the week we use our fifth day for field trips. And I have a section for both of my children, and it lists on one side their courses of study. Um, so reading, writing, math, all the subjects we're doing. Um, and then I go through and I write down all the things that I really want to get done that day. But I take a highlighter and I, write, I highlight the top thing each day that I want them to get done. Um, at the end of the video, I will show you an example of this so you can see. And you can also get these templates for yourself by going to blossomandroot.com and finding this blog post and download the templates yourself. If this is something that you would like to try, um, they're there for you and they're free. So help yourself. Um, the other beauty of using the list system for me was that it provided me the opportunity to schedule our day loosely around whatever was going on. So on those days where we didn't get started right at 7.30 like we usually do, um, it was okay. You know, if we did homeschool later in the afternoon that day or in the evening or if there were things that had to get shuffled around and moved to the next day, that was okay because I didn't write it neatly into a planner by the hour. You know. For homeschool, I literally print out one copy and I put it inside a, a sheet protector and I um, use dry erase markers to highlight what our priority topics are that day. And then the next week I just wipe the sheet down and I do it over for the next week because our priorities change from week to week. It's just, it's been a really good system for us. So head on over, download your free template if you want to give it a shot and happy planning. Here's a sneak peek at the template I use and how I highlight the priority of the day. This is my oldest daughter's schedule for a week. And instead of writing down time slots, I've got Breakfast Club, which I'll explain in a second. Then our top priority lesson of the day, second priority lesson, third, and then bonuses down at the bottom. On the template, you can customize this to be done by time chunks if you want instead. That's why I left it blank on the side. So um, Breakfast Club is how I get a lot of my top priority items out of the way every single day just built into our routine. We do picture study, composer study, read aloud, a couple of new words in French and Hawaiian each week, and then we always either do a walk or a nature study after breakfast. So I make sure and take care of a lot of top priority items right off the bat in the day. Then I always highlight which lesson I want us to focus on the most in the morning. And it was pretty simple right now because we're still kind of in summer mode. But I highlighted for this whole week, really my priority is just for her to get through our reading and writing readiness lessons from our curriculum. Um, but it's different from week to week. So I just plan on those pages and I slip them into a cover and I highlight them. And the reason I do slip it into a cover is so that I can change the highlight if I need to. Um, if I change my mind partway through the week. So you can customize this to work for you how you think. If you like to do it out in time chunks, that's totally fine, and you can use the template that way. You can do what I do with the top priority and second priority. Um, and then I also, what you can't see on this sheet, is I, I cross things out as we accomplish them with another highlighter. So I can see what we've done and gotten through and what we didn't. Um, but yeah, it's just really simplified things for me. So go ahead and head over to blossomandroot.com 
download your free planning page template. It's a PDF and you can just write on it and customize it however you would like. And thank you again for tuning in with me today. Have a wonderful week, you guys.